This is a video to show a little bit about the Robert Sorby RS3000 ornamental turning device. This was invented in the early 1990s in Britain by a man called Martin Thompson Oram, who was a wood turner and inventor. This is definitely not a chatter tool. This is a computerized device that interprets the speed of the turning piece and uh, tells a cutting head to move in and out of the turning piece uh, in accordance with its algorithm. So it consists of this control box into which is plugged the uh, cutting head and in the cutting head is a little tiny cutter. This one happens to be concave but there's flat and convex angled and more. This is quite heavy. There's a uh, large electromagnet and very large spring inside. It fits into a slot quite firmly on this thing. If I can get it in. There we go. There's an adjustment wheel underneath that allows you to move it in and out of the work and a side adjustment tool with uh, markings every four millimeters. The cutters are four millimeters wide and the stroke is roughly four to five millimeters as well. In operation, it's very quiet, even though it's vibrating very quickly. You can't, you just see a blur at the end. You can just make out the cutter and you can see when it just starts to engage the wood. The video rate of this camera makes it look like it's standing still. The speed of the lathe is picked up by a hall sensor, hall effect sensor, and this magnet that you stick onto here. So every time the magnet goes around, then away you go. Typically, you'll set your lathe for 500 RPM, and nothing happens until you turn on the lathe. You can't set any of the settings or anything else. So I'll turn that on. And down here, you might just see, right now, you can select the pattern, which is one, this doesn't have the expansion box, I couldn't find that anywhere. The cuts, I want, say, 16 in this circle. And then the cut offset, I'll just set as zero so that there's no offset. And then you select off in the end and that uh, saves the program. And then you go to there. And when it's counted enough, then the little device will start vibrating. And there it goes. So I'll just show that to you like that. Looks like it's just going slowly, but it's actually going very quickly. So you advance it slowly into the work, and it starts making its cuts. It doesn't cut on every uh, uh, divot, like I've, I've selected 16. It doesn't cut 16 times every time around, but it calculates when it can cut uh, according to the inertia built into this. It's very easy to use, very quiet, and it does quite a number of uh, patterns. And more importantly, it, it is not an ornamental lathe, but it does reproduce some of the patterns that they do. So I will show this thing in action here shortly, cutting these, cutting these grooves. I'm not an expert at using this, and this is not the greatest wood in the world. This is big leaf maple, which is very, very dry. And I'm not taking a great deal of time to make, uh, make the cuts. Just enough to get the idea.
So in this case, I've selected uh, an offset pattern by number one. The other two were not offset at all. I'm slowly advancing the cutter into the work with the uh, bottom adjustment wheel. This is set to make 16 cuts per circumference right now. I don't think my cutter is particularly sharp. And this is not the greatest wood for doing this, but what I had on hand. When you turn off the lathe, the cutter stops too. So you can see a little bit of offset here. I can adjust it to the side with the adjustment wheel here. These are four millimeter cutters. When you turn the lathe on and it counts enough impulses, then it'll start the, it'll start the cutter. I just advance it slowly into the work. It's lower than that. There is a stop you can set on the adjustment cutter so it only goes in so far. I'm sure with a better wood than this you can get a lot nicer results. When you stop the lathe, the cutter stops. So this is offset it from the other one, and the other one's back to the first one. So I've offset this now to number, number three offset, and we'll see what that does. Back off about four millimeters, start the lathe. When it counts enough, it starts the cutter. I push against the back of the cutter while adjusting the little, the lower adjustment wheel in. This is big leaf maple, which is a fairly coarse wood. This has adjusted it back now. And I can get deeper cuts, but I think my cutter is not very sharp right now. A little bit of tear out on the end grain, but on uh, better wood, as I said, with denser grain, like boxwood perhaps, this would be better. So I hope you enjoyed the demo.